Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to, I guess, bring you my review of uh, the Season 4 premiere episode of Riverdale. It was called uh, In Memoriam. Obviously about 99% a uh, dedication and a tribute to, of course, uh, Luke Perry, who we had uh, lost this year. It seems like we're losing more and more these past few years. They've just been shocked full of deaths before their time, you know, or... Uh, you know, particular celebrity passings that, I don't know, it just seems, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, this is a tough episode for me to, you know, review, uh, well, like, am I gonna rate this episode, am I gonna, you know, score this episode, not really, <laughs> um, you know, I've been reviewing Riverdale off and on for, you know, the past, you know, two, three seasons, and, uh, you, know, I, you know, I've been spotty at times, but I've always come back to it because of the characters and the, you know, likability of the actors and such. You know, sometimes, like, the, uh, you know, like, the mystery of the main story last year would bog me down a little bit or make me drag, but I'd always come back for the characters and the cast and stuff. And that was going to be the case this year. And then with, uh, this being a tribute to, uh, Luke Perry, um, I definitely had to say something about it. You know, I hadn't seen... Personally, I haven't seen much of uh, Luke Perry's work, but I definitely need to see more. Um, you know, even did like a, the, this Western TV movie with my all-time favorite actress, Catherine Isabel, and everything. Um, and Luke Perry, of course, was a big part of Riverdale. You know, probably the biggest moral compass on the show. Um, and even just seeing him on here throughout the you know three seasons, he was quite good. You know, you know him and Ski you know, the very best on the show, I think, from an acting standpoint. Um, yeah, you know, that's one thing about this episode. I, I would have personally preferred uh, to see Ski Ulrich or uh, FP actually get to say more about Fred personally. We see his reaction a little bit, you know, when he's telling Archie about it and his mom towards the beginning. And, you know, the police escort thing at the end was nice and such, but just what Fred did for him and how he helped him and pulled him out of, you know, his own help, pull, well, not of his own demons. Um, I, I hope they touch on that more later, or there's like a big scene between Archie and FP where our where FP really, you know, lays into him about what his father did for him and such. I, I think they need a scene like that as Los President, you know, give him more of a chance to speak on him in this episode. But overall, this is a, well, let me still say this is a fantastic episode. Uh, well, it was because uh, no one can watch this episode now and say that, you know, the cast in Riverdale can't act. But I know a lot of it wasn't 100% acting because... Uh, like many shows, uh, this is a well-knit group, and uh, a lot of their feelings, I'm sure, were uh, pouring out of, you know, personal memories and, you know, fondness for uh, Luke himself. Um, but they still did a great job in this episode. You know, from KJ Apa to Camila Mendez, you know, Lily Reinhardt and such. Um, it was nice to see Shannon Doherty pop up, who, you know, had significantly worked with, uh, you know, Luke Perry earlier in his career. Um, probably the best scene of the episode is you know, on that road there where she pulls up and she's on that uh you know fred protected you know he had stopped on the side of the road up someone with their vehicle someone had struck him um we had seen uh later on in the episode that archie goes to confront this person turns out it was a dad protecting his uh, reckless son um i'm glad they didn't hark on that too much i feel like they don't need to go back to it either um so that was good and then another thing, apparently Hiram paid for a lot of the funeral proceedings, uh, so I thought that was actually a good, uh, somewhat nuanced touch. But now if they go back on it later and make Hiram more of a mustache twirly villain again, it might <laughs> take away from it a bit, but I think it was something for uh, the Hiram character to actually do that after, you know, all the uh, issues he and the Fred character had had in the seasons, and, uh, you know, Fred standing up to him, and, you know, his relationship with, uh, you know, Mrs. Lodge and such, and... So I thought that was a good touch, uh, you know, Hiram actually, you know, paying for a big portion of it. Um, and, you know, Veronica's sort of reaction, you know, to that, I thought was nice. Um, KJ Apa, of course, you know, a lot of it was on him, you know, playing Archie, you know, the son, you know, Luke Perry's character on the show, and I thought he did a really nice job. Um, he's always been, uh, he's been steadily, you know, more and more solid, you know, growing actor over the seasons, and, uh, you know, this is obviously one of his very best performances, and I don't know, I, I'm not sure what more I can say about it, I mean, I, I, I'll admit I cried, I did, I did, <laughs> um, it was a really well put together, you know, pretty well edited sequence of scenes for the most part, 
Um, I felt like they jumped into the uh, circle telling stories a bit quick, but then they kind of went into that, uh, you know, sort of mental process Archie is going through, you know, as the episode went on, so it still worked. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, how can I rate this episode? Um, I will be reviewing more episodes of Riverdale this season, I plan to. Um, it's just going to be a bit, you know, jammed with uh, this starting up again, you know, Supernatural, Van Helsing still going. Walking Dead started up, but my interest is sort of over there with that. I don't know. <laughs> um, Batwoman as well. But I will try, and I do plan on receiving the next episode, and maybe some uh, certain episodes after that, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, the only guys thought about this one, you think they tri you know, made a tribute to Luke, Luke Perry well with this episode, you think they wrote off his character well. Um, at first I thought they were just going to go with like a heart attack off screen or something, but kind of more of a tribute to the nature of Fred's character that was something like that, and there can be just, you know, things like that that just happen in life, and it's, you know, shitty and tragic as hell, but, uh, but yeah, overall, really well done, um, I think they'd make, uh, Luke very proud, I can only imagine when it was, like, on set when they were filming, I've read some articles about it, God, it sounds really, really, you know, really tough, I can't even say enough about that, uh, but yeah, uh, love you guys a lot. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Like, subscribe, and that's all I really have to say. I mean, what more can you say? Rest in peace, Luke Perry.